Throughout my life, I've met people who really seem to value vacations and go on them pretty often. And then I've also met people who don't really see the value in a vacation and often look down on others for spending money on a vacation, despite not even knowing how much money they're spending, if they got a good deal or, you know, really any of that, because it's not really any of their business. But the people that I know who go on vacation seem to be generally happy. You know, they have anticipation waiting for their time off, their vacation. And I think that's really great to look forward to something. And then when they come back, it's not really this like, oh, back to reality, I hate my life. They seem to just be almost like a different person, like they're refreshed and have a different perspective. And that's really interesting to me because I just took a week off in Florida and loved it. And I think that was exactly what I needed to do. There's baby. Popping. <laughs> this is our first vacation in forever. Yeah. It's, doing, it's going pretty good so far. <laughs> first day was a little rough, but today's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, say bye for now. Bye for now. And of course, vacationing is a type of luxury that can often be expensive and not everyone can, you know, just throw dollars at the plane and go wherever they want. But in the past, I've had coworkers that were making the same amount of money as me basically, even though we weren't supposed to know that. And they were they were traveling more than I was. So my recent trip to Florida has just got me thinking, why do so many people look down on this and look down on others as if they're like better than them for not spending money on travel? It's really interesting that humans can just find any way to, to judge someone to look down on them and, and think that they're better, whether they're spending money or they're not. You know, like, hey, I'm better than you because I spent money on this. Or, hey, I'm better than you because I didn't spend money on this. That contrast is really interesting to me. And I'm not saying everyone should take a trip to Bali every year or spend thousands of dollars to feel better. That's not the point of this video. But the point is, there's a certain mindset that just seems to really limit people in life. You know, like, I can't afford that or I shouldn't be spending money that way. And sometimes there's not just like a, a right or wrong answer regarding finance. Like, you can save every penny and have a lot in the bank, but that doesn't mean you'll be happy. And then, of course, you can spend everything that you have and not be any happier at all. I've noticed this one-size-fits-all approach to basically any problem that exists in humanity. And there's not a one-size-fits-all for vacationing or spending money on things to make you feel better. Everyone is different. Everyone has different wants and needs. And there's not just a clear-cut one-size-fits-all answer. And while I do believe that living within your means is extremely important to avoiding unnecessary debt, I think we need to pay attention to our brains and our bodies and know when it's time to take a vacation or when we just need to get out of the house and just take some time off. But for me, especially last year with all the time spent at home in 2020, I needed to get away. I needed to go somewhere different and see different things and this is exactly what I needed. And it was especially great because I went with my best friend and we talked for hours and hours and hours and it was incredibly refreshing to spend time with not only my best friend but someone who just thinks like me who questions things and wonders why do humans do this why do we insist on doing these things that really make no sense and someone who just wants to you know dive deep and have conversations that some people just really can't handle so it was just a perfect trip the weather was beautiful there were palm trees everywhere the sand was amazing it was nice and soft and there were lots of nice people i mean obviously when you're a tourist people are kind of supposed to be nice i guess i don't know and there was always something to do. We had so many things to do on our list, we didn't even get to like half of it. And that was okay because the things that we did do were awesome. We went to Disney, we went to NASA, we went to Clearwater Beach. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And there are many different factors as to why someone would or wouldn't go on a vacation. And that probably won't look the same for everyone. Some people might wanna just travel out of town and stay with family or go to the beach or the lake or a secluded cabin in the woods or travel to a big city and stay somewhere downtown. I keep hearing this phrase that our bodies are made to move, and I really agree with that because the times in which I am just stationary for too long and the times where I seem to be the most unhappy are when I'm feeling stagnant, like I'm stuck and I need to get out. And I think that hit hard for a lot of people last year with the lockdowns and quarantine. And I think in general, human beings just aren't meant to stay in a box for too long. Many of us work way too many hours to pay for the box that we live in. Many of us drive a box that we can't even afford to the place that we work to pay for the box that we live in. And we barely even spend time in the box that we live in. And then when our life is over, we'll just end up in another box or in a vase as ashes, or spread along some ocean. And in between all of that, 
there needs to be some excitement. We need to do stuff. Too many of us, myself included, are just scared to do things or we just don't give ourselves the time to do the things that we really want to do. When people find out that I play guitar, they're like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted to learn. And I'm like, dude, you're 40 years old. You've been alive for four decades. Like, what is stopping you? Why haven't you learned yet? Or they say, man, I've always wanted to travel to Europe or Mexico or Hawaii. And I just wonder why, like, why aren't you doing it? What is stopping you? I've known plenty of people who don't make that much money, but they know how to go on vacation in a smart way. And so they just make it happen. You don't have to make a lot of money to go on a good vacation or to just do the things that you really want to do. And something that's been on my bucket list my entire life has been to shoot a machine gun. And we were driving around in Orlando and saw a billboard that said, shoot real machine guns. And so we just went to their website and signed up. And then I got to shoot four fully automatic weapons. It was pretty awesome. And it's so crazy that something on my bucket list that seemed so unobtainable and far to reach and impossible just was as easy as going to a website and signing up for a slot. And of course it wasn't cheap by any means, but it was completely worth it and I got to check it off. And not only did I get satisfaction from checking it off the list, I actually enjoyed it. It was really fun to do. So without turning this into some cheesy motivational thing, like there's probably a lot of things that you want to do in your life and they may not be that hard to do. It might just be a matter of finding out how. And then when you know how, you know, just do it. <laughs> Do it. That was kind of my point with the New Year's resolutions video. Like, don't wait for a certain date to do things. Just do it. Don't be limited by something as stupid as a calendar. Just do the things that you want to do. That's actually a topic I'll be discussing in a future video, so stay tuned for that. In addition to my thoughts about vacations, here's a list of reasons why you could benefit from a vacation sooner rather than later. The first is that studies show that vacations can reduce the risk of heart attack by 30% for men and 50% for women. Number two, Studies also show vacations can help boost your energy levels. Number three, vacations can actually help you get a raise at your job. Research shows that people can actually get a pay increase by about 10%. Number four, vacations can give you a natural high. When humans discover new things or feel like we're doing something adventurous, dopamine levels increase, which makes us feel good. Number five, vacations can generally make you happier. Having more control over your free time increases the likelihood of you having a more satisfying life. Number six, vacations can help the economy. Going on a vacation puts money back into the economy. Number seven, vacations help keep your mind calm. Some neurologists believe that the neural connections that produce feelings of calmness become weaker and weaker if they're not utilized. Over time, this can mean that it's actually harder to get your mind to switch into relaxation mode, even outside of work. Number eight, vacation happiness is contagious. Environmental psychologists have observed that the good vibes you bring back from vacation actually rub off on the people around you. Number nine, vacations may help you live a longer, healthier life. Number 10, vacations force you to improve your workflow. Since you're taking time off work, someone is going to need to fill in for you while you're gone. This will encourage you to stay up to date on all your documents, client lists, projects, whatever it is that you're working on, so the person filling in for you isn't having to do a bunch of catch-up work in addition to already covering for you. Number 11, vacations can make you a better boss. Nearly 85% of executives state that they have canceled a vacation because they couldn't get away from work. This kind of behavior could be hurting the company they're working for. When people take time off, they typically return with more creativity and ideas to improve the workplace and company. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you liked it. And if you're looking for something else to watch, I'll link my most recent upload at the top of the screen so you can check that out. But I highly recommend you stay put and watch the bloopers until the end of this video because they're pretty sweet. See you next time, everyone. Bye. Subscribe to my channel if you love me. Uh, I'm Ricky. I'm... I'm really awesome and that's why I'm here. Say hi to your pop prostate. Hi, <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> what are we saying? This is our baby moon. And, and Florida. Yeah, Florida. Clearwater. Clearwater Beach. And this is you, little baby, in here. I think I'm pointing right at you. Yeah, you are. We still haven't named you. 
So let us know. Let us know what name you want. Pick one. If it's crazy. Forgot the name. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well, love you, we are please. your parents. Love you. Uh, please, please love us back. We're gonna try our hardest. Thanks for choosing us. Yeah, and always remember the things that are most. Hi, sir. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Trying to video more, you know, for posterity and stuff. Is that it? You're supposed to do it like that? I don't know. <laughs> wow, how many booties have been right here? Probably a lot. <laughs> Lots. Plus, he went down the slide, so that's a lot of butts, too. That's true. You like that lady? What's <laughs> Sorry. Oh, totally. Hello, I'm using a mic. Obviously, it's nice to go on a vacation. <laughs> and then I've seen other. Oh my gosh, why is this so hard? Many of us have come to believe that going on vacation is only essential when you have enough money to do it. Ugh, why does my voice have to crack? It's so stupid. It is extremely important when avoiding unnecessarily debt. And while I believe that... <laughs> and while I do believe that living within your means is extremely important to avoiding unnecessarily... <laughs> and while I do believe that living... You know what would be really awesome? If everyone just comments what they want to accomplish in their life and then people reply with actual resources on how to do that and then we just get rid of all of our excuses and we can just do the things that we want to do. I think that would be awesome.